Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite Explosion. Jones, I'm the man on the stick. Oh, the sticks are so much in your hands. And we're watching cats make beautiful, delicious meals in <laughs> Monster Hunter World. There ain't nothing more nice than a cat making a meal, dude. I just wonder how they keep looking at it. Putting your freaking cat paws all over the bread, dude. You just know. Oh, there's probably poop on it because he's a cat. <laughs> if you go like the Monster Hunter subreddit, probably poop on it because he's a cat. <laughs> you go on the Monster Hunter subreddit, there's people that try to like recreate these meals. It's pretty cool, actually. It sounds like it. Like, I mean, it looks delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Any, ain't, <laughs> I'm convinced. Anything a cat puts its paws on, I poop on it, dude. Period. <laughs> what are you talking about? Cats have dirty, poopy paws, dude. Hey, I mean, you got dirty, poopy paws, too. I wash my hands before I touch food. Cats do not. I have never seen you wash your hands ever in life. <laughs> I don't. I'm a liar. I've I'm never just coroning it up all over the place, all up in my... I imagine if cats had thumbs and the wherewithal of uh, human pa brain pathogens and how to alleviate, they would wash their hands, John. They got strong immune systems. I mean, maybe better because they interact with their tongues <laughs> for the majority of their uh, lives. Imagine if we had to use our tongue like a cat. Or like a dog. How does a dog manipulate anything with its mouth? It's freaking crazy. It's funny to watch him struggle. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm the kidding. hell does that even mean? It's <laughs> funny to watch them struggle. I just want to be... Are you <laughs> sound like a sadistic a-hole. Are you talking about like... The young women that you keep in the basement? Uh, no, no, no. No, I don't. I hate watching them struggle. Yeah, I don't like watching them struggle. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a basement. He keeps <laughs> them in his kidding. bedroom. There's no basement. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, this is this is downright annoying already. Why? Because like half of the team is just sitting on the outside, not attacking anything. Or they just want to get the get the the presents without uh, any. Cake. I don't know what these people are doing, man. I just come here and I play the game. I'm here. I'm level freaking mm -hmm. three hundred six, five hundred, seven hundred, trying to help you guys out with your freaking SDV. This is a uh, three monsters. You're supposed to unlock some stuff with this. What are you doing? Why are you running? The monster's over here. I think I'm going to order some barbecue today. What, what kind? From where? The good kind. <coughs> From Terry Black's. The good kind. Oh, the expensive kind. Yeah, like, like, yeah, <laughs> That's the, what you meant yeah, to say. Yeah, the good kind, dude. Like, you, when you said the good kind. Yeah, what do you think I meant? Bill Miller? See, now, the, Terry... The fast food of barbecue? No, go over Terry Black's, because it's, like, it's good, man, but, like, explain what it is to the people, because they don't know, man. Not everybody's a freaking born-again Texan. Uh, so, there's a lot of, like, I, I guess I call them famous te barbecue places oh in God, Texas, please. and the, the Black's family... Uh huh. I like the way you said that. <laughs> what? what about the blacks? <laughs> How do you feel about them, Jonas? <laughs> Tell us all. <laughs> they used to have a. I guess they used to have like a barbecue restaurant way out in the country. Oh well, yeah, and blacks had... always be barbecuing, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> no, dude. I like. That. I want to know the story. It's your last day. Uh, and then I guess there was a rift in the family, and and the br the brother. Of the guy, one of the, like there are two brothers or something, and they split up or whatever. And now they have a restaurant, really close to downtown in Austin. Oh. And these, this barbecue, I don't know about like, I'm I'm not I know I can't judge brisket because it all kind of tastes the same to me. <laughs> but these are the best GD pork ribs I've ever eaten in my life. Is that really? And they are worth feel? every cent. I don't even have to put barbecue sauce on it. The seasoning they use to dry rub these ribs is great. Like, I will just go there and eat ribs. <laughs> like, it's so good. I just want to order a rack of ribs. It's probably going to cost me $30. So this is like authentic Texan barbecue where they, like, give it to you on, like, a piece of parchment paper. And yeah, everything. yeah. Oh, yeah. You go into this place. It's, it's, oh, yeah. Okay. I'll explain the experience. That's, that's kind of what so I So you go in, mm -hmm. and you get into, like, a turn. Like, I don't want to call it a turnstile, but, like, almost like a cafeteria line, right? Oh, yeah, it's definitely And a, then you, so it's like that whole chained off back and forth like thing. Oh, yeah. And as you're walking through, they got like drinks. They have like beer and other stuff in, a, in an ice chest. 
A big giant ice chest. Kind of like the uh, convenience stores that have all their tall boys. I don't want to be here. Stuck in. And then you get to like a, literally like a like a like a buffet line of sides, and they have all sorts of sides. I'm not I don't care for a lot of their sides. Blasphemy, whatever. <laughs> but they have like green bean casserole, and potato salad, and mac and cheese, and baked beans, and all sorts of stuff like that. And they have like peach cobbler and blah blah blah. And as you walk by, you get yourself those little like those little boats that you get like served like French fries in at like the fair and stuff. Like potato those, boats. Yeah, and everyone's like. Every you fill up with as much as you can fit in, and it's like two bucks or three bucks or something. And then once you go through that line and get all your sides, you walk to the counter, <laughs> and there's literally just like people standing there, and you have all the different meats, whether you want like brisket, sausage, turkey, uh, pork ribs, and you just say, I want a quarter pound of brisket or half a pound of ribs, or and they also do you can get like a brisket sandwich and stuff like that if you don't want uh, just uh, meat. And then it, it, your plate literally is just lined with like a parchment paper, and then they have a big thing on the side where you they get bread, and onions, plates. and pickles, and barbecue sauce. What? They don't even have plates. They just give you like a tray, like a McDonald's tray. Yep. You put a piece of parchment paper on it, and then you eat right off of that. And you just That's eat off of it. Texas barbecue. I guess, man. I I would say that I would like it better if I were eating off of fine china, but yeah. I guess if it's authentic Texan, who am I to yeah, dude, say I don't different? know. I don't like going in there. Very much because it's always very crowded and there's a line. But I will order some whole. You I'll can get order. some ribs delivered to the house though. I didn't know you could order it to be honest. Uh, well, I looked a lot, like I was really craving barbecue last night, and I googled. Uh, I think Grubhub does it. Grubhub will go pick up your order. I think. Yeah, well, don't give them a percentage tip. <laughs> It'd be eighty bucks to go pick that, right? Yo, I took my mom there when she came to visit, and it definitely it's like twenty five bucks a person. It definitely there. ran me like sixty bucks. To, to eat there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's my mom, so she gets whatever yeah, the hell like, she wants. Yeah, like, when I took my mom there, I think it was, like, 60 bucks, 50 bucks, too. Yeah. It's like... Could you it, calm down? When, every time I've been there, even when I used to be married and stuff, it always worked out to be about 25 bucks a person, on average. By the time you get each get a side or two, y'all get a little bit of... You know, the best thing to do is just go and, like, get a bunch of sides and get a bunch of meat and let everybody just kind of pick off the plate. I think they do have plates you can get, because some people... We'll just get one tray with a bunch of meat and sides, and then the family will just pick off of it and, and put it on plates and eat off of it. Yeah, I guess I could see that. Um, but, like, yeah, it's good, man. It's good. Like, I've been fiending for some ribs, and I I was like, man, maybe I can just get it Grubhub. I don't really want sides, so that works out great. I'll just get some brisket and some ribs. And so it. if it's $25 in store, to get it off of Grubhub is oh, going to run you 40 bucks. I kind of looking to splurge a little bit. Hey, I'm not mad at you, man. Spend like fifty bucks, get like get like a pound hey. of ribs, and get like a half a pound of brisket. Look, sister, sometimes you gotta treat yourself. Yeah, dude, treat yourself. Exactly. What's the point? What's the point of making the money if you don't spend it on yourself? Yeah, you know right. What I'm saying it's just yeah, exactly. But the Plus, problem is, the problem is though, everybody spends money they don't have, and they have debt they're trying to pay off all the time. Okay, well we're not talking. We're talking about our situations here. We ain't yeah. talking. About, I don't care um, what. what if uh, I order barbecue today, you want some? I am not getting Black's barbecue. No. Wow. It's far too expensive for my taste, and because you don't like it that much. Um. Yeah. yeah it, well, I guess that is kind of the point. It's definitely not cost effective, as far as I'm concerned, because I don't feel the cost is worth the uh the price yes yeah, or true. the food is worth the the cost of admission if it was like like uh hoop dub net and wet then <laughs> you're be, uh, getting some whoop dub <laughs> net and wet how much would i pay for that jonas um could you stop dying dude how much would you pay for net and wet uh wet net and <laughs> 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 How much would you pay? I don't, know. I don't know if I feel like wet netting is free out here, Jones. You know. Oh, are they I feel not like you can just order? get that. You can just get that for free if you just ask around. If you ask nicely. Yeah, you just, you just gotta like be. Could you stop coming up here? I'm trying to kill this thing. You're not allowing it to happen. Why are you not letting it happen? Because they're stupid, man. They're, they're little, they're baby hunters, man. And I hate baby hunters. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I do not hate baby hunter. If you're a baby hunter, you start playing this game, 
hit me up on Twitch. I'll help you out with Aww. whatever you whatever you need. I do, man. I, no, stop it. <laughs> We're not doing You're gonna that. Give me a Sherpa. I would definitely Sherpa. I actually had a kid last night uh, hit me up while I was on stream, um, and he was like, "Can you help me fight Tigrex?" I was like, eh, "Yeah, sure, kid." Did you help him? Yeah, man. Why not? Oh, helping out your... I can't get Terry back delivered, by the way. <laughs> All that build up. All that build up. Hurts my heart, dude. You can't get it delivered. Says they're not taking online orders. Why the hell not? Grubhub's like, get the F out of here. What are you two a-holes doing, dude? You're just drawing the monster away My from me. My life is over. No, I think you'll be fine. You can just go there. I don't want to go out in Cronaville, dude. You, I mean, if you order what you want and then, like, you just freaking... are They they take, like, uh, to-go orders. Though, I don't right? know if I can call in an order or not, to be honest. Oh. I think so. I could. I wouldn't imagine. Just, it's just, dude, the parking lot, the whole situation, there's a pain in the butt. Yeah, but especially because really Corona just got off. Of, we just got out of think, Corona lock. Yeah. yeah. I don't think many people even be there, to uh, be honest. Dude, today's like day, weekend one of Corona free. Everyone's out coughing on each other. And spreading. <laughs> Everybody can't wait to get in the <laughs> close quarters. I think it's quite the contrary. I uh, think that the majority of affable American... <laughs> Are like, this are is like, dumb. I'm going to stay home. Are like, yeah, they're saying that it's cool, but I don't believe that it's cool. Yeah, but you know who is out there? The people who don't care. And those are the people I don't want to be around. Ooh, fair. <laughs> exactly. They're all out there without masks, hugging each other, drinking beer on patios, dude. Fair. Just. You know what would make things better is if the coronavirus showed up green in the air. If it had a visual marker? It had a color, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Like if sky blue came out your mouth when when you were <laughs> when you were breathing the crone crone on. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess that would be helpful, but I don't think it works that way. Everyone so. be just running away from everything all the times so would just be blue floating in the air. Yeah, dude, I'm good. I don't want it that bad. Now I don't want barbecue. I mean, I have to go get it. Well, yep. I guess you can't get that. I'll get it soon. That was like when I went to go pick up Chinese, and that lady was got all close to me and like didn't have a mask on. <laughs> lady like, got I'm all like, close lady, to me. I'm like, lady, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get my food. Get away from me. <laughs> Everybody's infected. I'm just wondering how long you're gonna feel this way about not wanting to get close. to I ain't people. going anywhere till June. Till June, that's 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 At when least. Corona's over. <laughs> yep. That's when Corona's over okay. for you. Now that we've unleashed experimental time where people are out floating that's in the streets, it. dude, I'm. It's this makes me June. want to stay home more than I wanted to stay home the last month. Really? Yes, because there's crazy people out there who will be out there just doing whatever, man. I'm gonna let them be the guinea pigs, and if the case is, <laughs> if if it goes away. I'll go hang out and play. And if it goes away, how are you going to know? My birthday, the case numbers, bro, they will <laughs> fly up, dude. If if things there, are cool. There you go, trusting the numbers again. Yeah, right? I know. My birthday is at the beginning of how July. I'm hoping that? by my birthday I can go outside. That's my, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping I can swim in a pool for my birthday. <laughs> that's all I want in life. Swim in a pool full that's of it. freaking Corona water? Yeah, dude. I just want to drive in the Corona sea. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, dude. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to the grocery store. I'm going to one other person's house in here. That's, <laughs> that's all I'm doing. Yeah, that's too much if you ask me. I am, uh... I, I don't to want to go out into the trails. People are like, you can go out in the park, dude. I'm like, nah, I'm good. So I went to the grocery store for like the first time in like a couple months, man. And I was just appalled with the way that people were approaching on my six feet of personal space. Oh, uh, right? Funny enough, that doesn't really deviate from the way I have always felt about my <laughs> six feet of personal space. Where I'm like, hey, everybody stay away from me because I don't like contact. I like how you're inside him. <laughs> Jonas. <laughs> Are we talking about the video or the man on wow. my <laughs> the guy on my lap here? Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> what are we talking about? Whoa, whoa! That got dark. What are you talking about? How's that dark? I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's clearly Latino. He's not that dark. Oh wow! What? Y'all come on! It's a joke. There's no man in my lap. No, today. Not now, at least. Yeah, right. All right. Uh I absolutely hate the two of you. 
Maybe. You two guys? No, these two baby hunters that I'm playing with, I hate them. Oh. They are not good. They're trash? Oh, yeah, man. Just a lot of just, like, running around and making it. When you run around and the monster, he'll like, he be like, oh, I'm going to attack you. And then the other guy's way over there. So then he'll be like, oh, no, I'm going to go attack you. I'm down in here fighting a monster where you're supposed to fight it. And he's like, oh. And he's just jumping around. Oh, all wow, there's the more place. monsters. There's just one more. And then he's just jumping around this guy's. He's he's cake. He's a cakewalk. Oh, he looks intimidating though. Yeah, dude, he's a big lion puppy. He's a big tailed lion fire. Yeah, but uh, basically, I'm not going anywhere, dude. I mean, that's fair, John. I don't. I don't want to be a guinea pig in an experiment. That's fair. Our our governor's like it's cool. I don't see him out on the patio on BW three drinking beer. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything, sir. That you don't want to. I don't want to leave the house ever again if I don't want to. Um, believe me, I <laughs> make I make it a point to not do that. Like, that's my mantra, right? Like, and, and I'm not gonna make the joke that everybody has made. Like, oh, dude, I've been practicing for this social distance. <laughs> hey, guess what? My, I, yeah, but I have been doing that. I've been practicing for social distancing. Yeah, you really have. It's cool though. Yep, yeah, I love it, dude. All right, we're gonna get this out. Man. It's sad, dude. It's sad out there in the streets. Yeah, it's not really sad. So where are you going to get instead? Uh, Wing Daddies? Maybe? I don't know if they get... Well, if, I don't know if any of the delivery services go there either. I ain't driving down there either. So you've just dedicated your life to eating disgusting food today, I see. Oh, yeah. Because wings and barbecue were awful. I mean, it's not the food themselves are not good. It's just like the, the place, the places that you. Yeah, what are you gonna What are you gonna get today? Uh, I'm gonna get a big bowl of none of your freaking business with a side of shut the fudge up and. Wow. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't made the decision. I think I'm gonna make curry actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. I got some leftovers I need to eat up too. <laughs> that is so I no, don't know no, I probably means. usually I only I only eat, eat out on the weekend really, so I will probably order something today. Probably wings or something, or pizza or barbecue. I can't get barbecue. Yeah, I might be able to get another barbecue place, so maybe I'll do that. But um, oh, yeah, dude, I'll I'll probably get some wings, and then the rest of the weekend I'll just eat my leftovers, and then I gotta go to the grocery store and get food to cook for the next week. It sucks how, like, when you make food, it's great because it's easy to eat, but then, like, you have to keep doing it over and over it again. It sucks how when you make food, it's easy to eat. No, the part... Ah! What happened? On the next episode. <laughs> what? No, what happened? They, so they died! Oh, the noobs? Yes! Uh, the freaking trash, dude. They're running around. The monster's jumping up on different levels, jumping around. All they had to do was just stand behind me. <laughs> just stand behind <laughs> Wow. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, Please make sure to like and subscribe. While you're at it, follow my boy, TNT Dynamite on Twitch. TNT Dynamite, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town. You know, the more Twitch. you say holla at your boy, the more it becomes your thing. Come in. Saying hang. it once is ironic. Saying it every time makes it your thing. Come and hang out with your boy. <laughs> <laughs> For Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one, we. Oh,